Hello students, welcome to my channel, Genial Education. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. In this lecture, we are going to solve problem 2.3, chapter number 2, the working fluid from the book Applied Thermodynamics by T.D. Stop and McConkie. The problem statement of uh, 2.3 problem is steam at 7 bar and 250 degrees centigrade enters a pipeline and flows along it at constant pressure. If the steam rejects heat steadily to the surroundings, at what temperature will droplets of water begin to form in the vapor? Using the steady flow energy equation and neglecting changes in velocity of the steam, calculate the heat rejected per kilogram of steam flowing. So, first of all, we will write the given data in this problem that is, pressure initially is 7 bar, P1 is 7 bar, and temperature T1 is 250 degree centigrade, and the pressure is constant, meaning that. P2 is equal to P1. We have to find the temperature at which the vapors is converted to water. It means that is start condensation. This is the PV diagram for the steam. This is the superheated region. and this is the mixture region and this region is subcooled or compressed liquid region. So initially at 7 bar and 250 degree centigrade the state of the steam is superheated and it lies somewhere here. So this is supposed state 1 and then it rejects heat and start condensation from this line. This is actually saturated vapor line from where the steam starts condensation and it converts its form from vapors to water or liquid. So at this state, the state is suppose 2. So from 1 to 2, this is the heat rejection and we will find it a heat rejection per kilogram of steam in this process from 1 to 2. Initially we have to find the temperature at this state that is the saturation temperature. So required what things are required in this problem first the temperature which is actually the saturation temperature and second we have to find the heat rejection per kilogram of steam flowing that is Q. So for finding the saturation temperature Let's start the solution of the problem. At 7 bar from the saturated steam tables, pressure tables, at 7 bar we see that the temperature is 165 degree centigrade. This is the saturation temperature. So directly picking this value from the saturated steam pressure tables that is saturation temperature is 165 degree centigrade as we see that this temperature is less than 250 degree C so it indicates that the steam 
at 7 bar and 250 degree C is in superheated state. As we know that T is greater than saturation temperature. So if this condition is satisfied then we can say that the steam is in superheated form and it is very clear that this temperature 250 degree centigrade is T and it is greater than the saturation temperature which is 165 degree centigrade. So the saturation temperature is 165 degree centigrade and this is the temperature at which the droplets of water begin to form in the vapor. Now second we have to find the heat rejected per kilogram. So for that it is stated in the problem that using the steady flow energy equation which is m dot this is part 1 and now we are moving to part 2. So this is the steady flow energy equation m dot h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus z1 g plus q dot plus w dot is equal to m dot h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus z2 g. In this case let us suppose z1 is equal to z2 so this term will be cancelled. Similarly it is given in the problem that the velocities are negligible so this term will be also cancelled. Also there is unit mass flow rate and W dot is also in this case equal to 0 because this is the only heat rejection process. So Q comes out in this case finally it is equal to H2 minus H1. So for unit mass flow rate this is the case Q is equal to H2 minus H1. This is the final expression. So to find H2 now we will find these enthalpy values and once we find these values heat rejection will be found from this. So H2 is the state 2. So at 7 bar we see that H2 is basically equal to Hg as it is very clear from the PV diagram at state 2 we can say that H2 is equal to Hg. So at 7 bar from the saturated steam pressure tables H2 is equal to Hg and its value is 2764 kilojoule per kilogram and the value of H1 will be found from the superheated steam tables because initially the steam is in superheated region. So at 7 bar and 250 degree centigrade this is the pressure 7 bar and 250 degree centigrade this is temperature in degree centigrade here 250 degree centigrade is not available in the list. So using the linear interpolation method as we discussed in problem 2.2 as well the method of linear interpolation. So using the method of linear interpolation at temperature 250 degree centigrade and pressure T is equal to 7 bar the value of H1 comes out in between these values 3017 2937 and 3017 
these are the values 39 32 and 3017 so the value will come in between these values so it is equal to 29 double 5 kilojoule per kilogram now it's very simple to find the value of heat ejected per kilogram and that is h2 is equal to 2764 minus 2955 kilojoule per kilogram so the heat rejected per kilogram of steam is equal to minus 191 kilojoule per kilogram so minus sign shows the heat rejection so we can also write that heat rejection or heat rejected per kilogram of steam is equal to 191 kilojoule per kilogram so in this problem you are required to find the temperature that is the saturation temperature and second we have to find the heat rejection per kilogram of steam so these are the values 165 degree centigrade and the heat rejection per kilogram of steam is 191 kilojoule per kilogram so this is all about the solution of problem 2.3 thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos